Good morning. It is uh, 3 15, 3 16 in the morning. We were all packed. We stayed at the Sheridan Gateway Hotel, uh, which is right part of the uh, Terminal 3 Pearson Toronto Airport. So we're like, that, the ramp I think to get across is right here on this side. You might be able, should be able to see it. And uh, so we don't have to wear jackets or anything. Uh, you can see a West Jet plane right over there. We're taking Sunwing because that was the only only plane we could have. Say hi, Carol. Hello. And uh, all packed up. Carol got up before I did. It's uh, had to do my 10,000 step walk last night, so uh, I went to bed probably a little bit later than I should have. I think I. What time did I go to bed? I think it was 11 and then I ha then we got up at 2.45 or was it 2.30? 2.30. So I got up at 2.30, Kel shower, did all of her stuff and then then woke me up and I'm still kind of groggy right now. So everything's done, really nice hotel room. Uh, there's the shower stall. Shampoos and stuff on the wall. Nice cool sliding door. And uh, yeah, that's it for the bathroom. Uh, nice big door there. Interesting hanging unit. And a mirror all in one. I just noticed that now, I didn't know that last night. But super comfy bed. I love that bed and it's a nice, very heavy duvet and I like that. It kept me warm and I was a super happy guy last night. So today we're going to Cuba. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this hotel guys. Registration, lounge area. And the bar is over there. Right now you can probably get coffee. Had a couple beers last night. Met some people. Very nice. Lots of hockey. booked in online there was an option to add more bags but in the past you could when you're here you could just tell them you had three bags and then they would charge you for a third bag I guess but uh, we didn't do that so luckily we have this tiny little RTD, R2D2 bag and uh, it's nice and somewhat light don't have to reef it around too much Made it through security, unscathed. Uh, and there was a guy that was coming in behind us, and every time he went through the metal detector, it went off. And they were like, "Dude, you got like go through every single pocket and try to find everything." And uh, at the last second, I'm not sure if you noticed, he's like, "Oh, what's in your pocket there?" And so he, he unzipped and he pulled out a huge wad of cash. Wow. A huge. No wonder he didn't want that to go through. I'm not sure if he maybe had like a a metal band on it or something or but I could see why he didn't want to put that to the the x-ray thing I guess and I think you're allowed up to like ten thousand dollars to carry a, a cross borders anyway a little, little fun totally empty airport except back there where we try to get on when we first arrived there were four people standing uh, at what we thought was the security check and we asked them if they're going to Cuba and they said yes so we went and checked in checked our bags they wouldn't take the third bag unfortunately because we had 
uh, humanitarian goods in there and two things of we, did, we forgot where we packed things because we wanted to check all four uh, three bags they wouldn't let us check the third bag so we said well, well this is the carry-on so obviously we'll keep that but we forgot we had liquids in there so they took two things of uh, shampoo and two things of conditioner i think so unfortunately and then they won't donate them they just throw them out which sucks brand new we're gonna give them to people in in cuba all right let's find a tim horns or something there's oh a starbucks all right looks like we're gonna do a starbucks latte hello could i get a large latte please plus those two bottles thank you can Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Christmas cup. Oh, I love their lattes. I got Carol water. And it's spring water. Yummy. Pretty flower. Pretty flower. Well, it's Fiji. Of course, it's going to have pretty flowers. You guys don't sound ready. Yeah. yeah. Good, I like this. Hola. Cards, please. Uh oh. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. Morning. Hello. Morning. 16E is the middle seat. Okay. Ready to go? Ready. Let's do it. Feel the humidity when you get off the plane. My my glasses are kind of fogging up. Now we just have to go through passport control and then find our bus, buy a beer, and relax for 10 minutes. Bus number three. Emilia Keokoko. Emilia, a flower. Dos veces, por favor. Okay, two beers, <laughs> seven, three beers, ten. Okay, three beers, ten. Gracias. Extra. Mucho gracias. I haven't had this one before. Crystal extra. Welcome to Cuba. Okay, good morning. Morning. Do you hear me at the end? Yes? Ah, oh, there is an echo. Where do you mean? <laughs> Carol's drinking some beer. Who knows? 
cerveza por favor. <laughs> So the the expression is this. <laughs> Happy to be here? Yes. Si. Spanish. I will yes. speak in Spanish. <laughs> I will speak in Spanish. <laughs> okay. So thank you for choosing us. Thank you for coming to Kiva, to Calle Coco. Okay. We highly appreciate it. Believe me. As I always say, Canadians and Cubans, we are friends forever. And right. you, you are more than welcome here, you know that. You are really, we really appreciate when you come to Cuba, you are helping us. That's the truth? Yes. Yes, yes sure. you are helping us. You're helping us. Come, <laughs> yes. We were waiting for you for almost 19 months. With no jobs here. Happy to be back. We had a couple of months, some flights, a couple of flights from Air Canada, but back again, you closed, we closed, and we are still living this crazy life. A little bit better now, fingers crossed. Hope that we can avoid this someday, okay? The only thing that we have to do is behave and take care of ourselves and whoever is next to us that's it okay so that's why now you're drinking beer no problem of course you have to drink <laughs> and you have to take off the mask of course but i always ask please wear your mask as soon as you finish or when we are indoors when we do the tours to take care of ourselves you for to be safe come back no problem and for us to keep working okay so thank you so for, for coming and that's why welcome to Kiva, welcome to Cayo Coco. Yeah. Thank you so much. Whee! Oh, okay. Oh, oh you got it's a, good. That's a long walk. Nice. <laughs> well, I hope to see you guys again. Okay, oh, yeah. have a good time. Yeah. Venezuela. Yeah. Viva. What's that? Blue sky. Oh, there you go. Got blue sky. Blue jays. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Oh, I did put my money in here. Uh huh. Mucho gracias, señor. Nice, it's fresh. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Again, this is our view from this balcony. There's our boy right there. So all individual buildings, uh, probably six, six rooms per building. And we're in this one, there's one, two, three. We're in this far one. And here is the main room. We've got the king size bed. Uh, we we're thinking about upgrading our room, but I don't think we need to. I think this is beautiful. We just have to see how far it is away from everything else. Got our luggage here. Got a vanity mirror. 
beautiful bed, rocking chair, you know, just in case you want to smoke a cigar. And we've got a beautiful view. Oh, remember the last place we were at that this didn't have anything like that. It just, the door just opened. Like there was nothing stopping anybody from coming in. Of course you have your cigar table here. Oh, I just love the smell of humidity and green leaves. Right now in Canada, it's November 21st. So we have no greenery in Canada. You can see the rain coming down over there. So it's a peaceful view. It's not necessarily a great view of the ocean or anything. Yeah, one of those rooms. Yeah. On that Maybe we can do like a quick inquiry just to see if there are any ocean view rooms. Just to see, just to see. But again, we have this really nice sitting area where I can edit. We have Kara's wrecking everything. No, I didn't. It's something about the sun doing that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got a TV. We got Agua. Again, that's the room. Uh, let's do a quick little washroom tour. We've got a shaving area for Ken while Carol's showering. And then we've got a closet here. We're going to hang up all of our stuff. Toilet and bidet. And then over here we've got our tub, Milia Keo Coco. Uh, we've got the, so I guess you have to adjust and then slide her up to whatever you like. Aim it. I'm not sure if you can aim it. There we go. That would be good, right there. Perfect. All right, good to go. Thanks for hanging out with us today on our trip from Toronto to Milia Keo Coco. Hope you guys stay tuned for the next bunch of vlogs, just for you.